Hey guys, welcome to the fourth part of my video tutorial on how to create a map for Supreme Commander Forged Alliance with AI support. In this tutorial I want to show you how to import our fixed height map from the Supreme Commander editor and how to define different masks for the texturing process later on. The first step is to set our project settings. So we go here on the project settings. The resolution has to be again 1025 by 1025. And under general setup, we put 1000 meter under terrain altitude scaling. Also in the water level, we put 196 meter and click show. The first step that we have to do is we have to rename our file from the previous lesson. That was heightmap supreme commander editor dot raw. So we make a copy and call it R16. Now we go under generator and add a file input node. Under altitude scaling, we choose this time natural file elevations. The first mask we want to create is for the rock walls. So we have to choose the slopes of the sides of the walls here. Walls here. The all kind of slopes. So we go under selector and add a slope node. node. We connect the height parameter. And here in the preview window, you can see already which parts are selected. Parts are selected. With these two sliders, you can define a minimum and a maximum range. So this means everything that is white will be visible in the texture and everything that is black will be invisible. We also need an overlay view node so we can see the select slope three-dimensional. We go to output and select the overlay, the view, overlay node. view node. We plug the height field to the first slot and the output of the select slope node into the second slot of the overlay, view node. Of the overlay view node. Now you see that it gets three dimensional and we have it easier to decide which parts which we want to mask. Parts we, wanna mask. we lock the selection. And go back to the select slope node properties. Now we play with these two sliders to define the correct slope for our mask. With the fall off control, you can decide how soft the fall off gets. Also, we need to add a colorizer node. With the colorizer node, we can colorize our mask. Since we only need grayscale, we choose here the colorizing method, choose import color gradient, and leave it on grayscale. Okay, we unlock the preview on this device. On this device, select colorizer. Now you can see a two dimensional map of the region we have selected. Here we choose replace with mask, so our mask gets, mask visible. gets visible. We can also turn off the water, so we really only see our mask. And yeah, that looks good. Okay. The next step is that we add a bitmap output node so we can save our mask, mask image. image. Here we can specify our output file and we save it as a BMP and call it rock walls.
that's an 8-bit BMP file format. We don't need 16-bit here. We say OK. We render the whole tree. So all the LEDs turn green. green. Also, we can name the nodes so it's easier for us to understand the tree. So I call this here rock walls. The next mask that we create is the beach, beach sand, sand mask. mask. So for this we need to choose a new selector. And since the beach is relatively flat, we have to select a height node. Again, we plug the primary output height field. Also, we simply copy the overlay view and the colorizer. We lock the preview on the device to go to the select height node. So here we go down so we can see the beach area. Set the fall off so it's not so washed, washed out. out. And we also copy the bitmap output node. We call this select height node beach set. The next mask we define is the grass mask. So here it gets a little bit more tricky since we have to combine slope and height. So actually we just have to select both of these nodes, copy and paste it. Connect again the height map. Rename it. And add a combiner. To see what we do, we again copy an overlay view. And lock the preview on the overlay view. Also we need a colorizer and the bitmap output. Now we specify the slope angle, slope we just angle. have to invert, have our, to selection. invert our selection. In the combiner we have to use as a method subtract. Now you see the white regions, that's the grass regions. At the strange, put on one here. So actually what we do is we subtract the rock walls from the beach sand and what we get is the grass region. So now uh, it's clearly to see that only in the white parts we have grass. Okay, so what we actually do is we create the mask out of the slope, invert it, and then we subtract the height from it. The result is this mask for the grass regions. Now that we have defined the main masks for our map, we can care about the output. So we specify an output file name, rock walls, and write the output to disk. Next one is the sand. Finally, the grass. Now, the next step is to resize these textures because the Supreme Commander Map Editor only allows to load maps with half the resolution minus one.
So when if it's a 1025 by 1025 map, then subtract 1, so we are on 1024 by 1024. Divide that by 2, that's 512 times 512, and you have the correct size of the mask. So here are our masks now. Grass, rock walls, sand beach. We open up these files in Photoshop. Check on the size. Looks okay. We choose bicubic sharper since this is the best for reduction. Say OK. And repeat this step for the other two maps. Since the Supreme Commander map editor only allows raw files, we have to save our masks in a raw file format. But before we do that, we have to change some settings on the images. First, we have to remove the alpha channel. And second, we have to change the image into a grayscale image. I'll repeat that step for all the images. Now we can save the images as Photoshop RAW files. Looks okay. In the next tutorial I will show you how to import these masks in the Supreme Commander map editor and use them as masks for the textures. Thanks for watching.